Okay, hello everyone. Uh, it's Julie from Inspired Health and Wellness and Chargers here too. My faithful companion. He loves the yoga mat. He would prefer to be on the mat, but I would prefer that he is beside the mat. So there he is. So we're just going to uh, do some, uh, some movement practice today for release. So this could be anything that you need to release. Maybe it's tensions all around uh, COVID-19. Maybe you're feeling some kind of uh, work stress. Maybe you're working from home and you need to take a coffee break, or you just need a, a break because you've just dealt with somebody difficult in, uh, in an online meeting or in a telephone conversation, or maybe you're having uh, some issues dealing with some people that are living in the household with you. Who knows? I don't know, only you do. But I do know that we all have times when we need to release some stresses, some tensions, even some, some attitudes or beliefs. Uh, but that's, that's a topic for another day. So it's just about release today, whatever that may be. So go ahead and take your socks, slippers off if you are wearing any because we want to be standing on our mats and we don't want to be sliding around. And the only other piece of equipment you might like to have would be a block, or if you have a stool, uh, something that you can use. Just the idea is to get your, get the floor a little closer to your hands. So that's what that's for. Okay, so first off, just come into a standing position. And ideally, we would like the feet to be about hip width apart and more or less parallel to each other. That may not work for your body. And always remember that if it causes you any kind of pain or discomfort, stop, come out of it, do less, make an adjustment. No pain, no pain is the name of the game. So we're standing in Tadasana. We have some softness in our knees, so they're not locked and the pelvis is neutral. Sometimes we tend to stand to one side. We're not going to do that in uh, yoga or movement classes. And the shoulders roll back and down so that the chest is open, the neck is long, and in line with the spine, nice long spine. Chin is about level with the floor. And let's just take a couple of breaths here to sense how our body feels in this particular position, which we call mountain pose, Tadasana. Hopefully feeling uh, steady and just that sense of grounding the feet down into the floor, grounding all the way from this sort of waist area all the way down and then cultivating a sense of lightness and ease in the upper body. Now, let's uh, maybe widen the feet a little bit. It needs to be comfortable for you and we're going to do a bit of twisting here. So make sure you have lots of space around you and don't go too fast so you don't make yourself dizzy. And as I'm twisting to the right, my left heel is lifting from the floor. And as I twist to the left, my right heel lifts from the floor. So just gentle twisting at your own pace. You can go faster or slower than me. Uh, just don't go too fast. Don't make yourself dizzy and fall over. And notice what your eyes can see as you move around and into your furthest point. And we're not pushing, we're not trying to reach a certain level of twist here. We're just allowing ourselves to open up and move and release. Remember when you were a kid and you did this and you spun around and around and it felt just so lovely and fun and free? And see if you can cultivate a little bit of that here in your twist. And you can begin to slow down your twist, lower your arms a little bit, just naturally 
allowing yourself to come back into stillness. And that might be enough right there just to just to help you um, just lighten the mood, raise your energy and release whatever it was that was uh, holding you back, pinning you down. So let's do something else here that uh, might not be typical of yoga classes, but my yoga classes are maybe not typical. So this is something I learned years ago when I took karate. And so I want to have a, a little bit wider stance just for more stability, wider than hip width, but not super wide. You find what works for you, what's comfortable for you. And let's bring our hands into loose fists and have our arms by our sides. So our upper arms are by our sides and our forearms are more or less uh, parallel to the floor and we're going to do some punching here it's so releasing don't punch a person we're only punching the air so i'm going to start with my right fist i'm going to do it very slowly so i can talk while i'm doing it so as i punch i'm actually turning my forearm so now the back of my hand is facing the ceiling and punching towards the center and then i'm going to untwist it as i bring it back so it's back in that same position uh, that I started in and then I'll do the same with the left hand. So the trick here is to add some breath into it and we're coming from the uh, the abdomen. So, so it helps if you breathe out through the mouth because that really helps you have that sense of release. And go slower or faster than me and just keep going until you feel like you've had enough. And notice I bent my knees a little bit there too because I wanna have some softness in the knees again. And then lengthen back up. We're not over lengthening. We're just not having those bent knees. So lengthening back up, releasing the arms. See if you can almost feel like a wet noodle. <sighs> How does that feel? How does your body feel? You feel like you've released some tension? Maybe your heart rate is a little bit elevated. Maybe your chest feels more open. Maybe you've released some weight from your shoulders. I don't know. Only you know. <sighs> All right. Let's widen the feet a little wider apart. We're going to do some side bending here. So still we have softness in the knees. We're always having some softness in the knees and grounding into the feet, particularly the outside edges, so the baby toe sides of the feet are making particular contact with the mat and nice long spine inhale the right arm up towards the ceiling and then on an exhale let's side bend to the left so you'll notice that my hand is following along down my leg my left hand is and let's work with movement so inhale back up to center exhale side bend we're not forcing we're not pushing this we're allowing the movement to happen. And maybe each time you come into the side bend, perhaps your hand is going just a tiny bit further down the side of your leg. And then let's stay here in stillness. Let's have about three nice full breaths. So you'll notice I do have a bit of a bend in my arm and it is slightly forward but my neck is in line with my spine that is an, is an important piece so i'm not sticking my head forward to try and make that picture like you see maybe in the the magazines of the perfect bodies i don't have a perfect body most people don't and let's inhale back up to center exhale lower the arm take a breath 
how do you feel? Any differences from one side to the other? Maybe the right side feels a little more open. Maybe you can get a little more breath in there, maybe. Same thing the other side. So inhaling left arm up and exhaling towards the right. Side bending right. So notice that I said side bend, not forward bend. And note if you, in an effort to get further into that side bend, are perhaps coming slightly forward. That's not the point of this. We'll have a chance to do a forward bend later. We're side bending here, creating space on the left side of the body. And let's hang here for a few breaths. Breathing into that left side of the body. And then inhaling back up to center and exhaling the left arm down and taking a pause. Sensory pause. How do you feel? From here, we're going to go into a half forward fold. I say half forward fold because there are people that should not be going into full forward folds and because you are not in the studio with me, I don't know uh, if you can or you, you cannot, if it would be good for you, let's say, or it would not. So let's just stick with the half forward fold. So the feet can stay where they are. And let's just take our index fingers and put them where our underline, <laughs> underwear line would be. So in a forward fold, we want to think of hinging at the hips. So when I hint at the hips, this, um, this index finger is kind of going to get folded in. So try it and see. Inhale, think of it lengthening in the spine. Exhale, hinging at the hips. So I want to have my spine nice and long and my neck in line with the, my spine. So some people think that this means my neck's in line with my spine. Actually, it isn't. It needs to be more like this. So I'm cultivating a, a sense of lengthening here and some release also. And I have nice strong legs, so they're not overworking, but they are rooted down, the feet are rooted down into the ground. And on your next inhale, you can lengthen back up again, unhinge and remove the index fingers. See how you feel. Um, we're gonna move into some side lunges here. So this is where you may want to have your block. Um, you may not need a block, so you can decide for yourself. I'm going to show you both ways. So again, we're going to come into the half forward fold. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge at the hips. You can either place your hands on the block, which is just a little bit in front of you, but centered, uh, or you can place your hands on the floor. It just depends on how your body is constructed. You may choose to widen your stance a little bit. Keep the feet so that they're still parallel to each other. We don't need the toes pointing outwards. And you'll see that my eyes are looking down towards the floor. So I'm going to inhale here and on an exhale, I'm going to bend my left knee, bring my hands over towards that left foot, lengthening in the outside edge of the right foot. Inhale center and exhale, lunging to the right side this time. So you can continue this working at your own pace. You don't need to fly through it. And if your hands don't come comfortably to the floor, this is where you use the block or whatever you've got. Maybe it's a book that you've got and you use it at the height that works well for you. So 
uh, with a book or a block, you probably have lots of options. So you could just hold it in your hand, take it with you as you lunge. And of course, if this causes any discomfort for you, certainly any pain, stop, come back out of it, come back to standing, or even lay down on your mat. And when you've had enough of that, come back to center. Stay in stillness here for a breath. Now let's press our right hands into the floor or into the block. You can decide. Take your left hand and place it on your waist so your, your elbow is bent. And we're gonna go into a bit of a twist here, but as soon as I say the word twist, you're automatically gonna twist yourself. What I'd like you to do is think more of unfolding yourself towards the left. So opening the chest up towards the left. So we'll inhale here and on an exhale, let's just turn the body so that my chest is now opened up towards the left side of the room. And we can inhale back into the forward fold and exhale, opening up. So let's do this one more time. And then on the last one, you can just hang here for a few breaths. So feeling very uh, strong and grounded in that right hand and arm and opening up without force in the upper body towards the left side of the room. And exhale back down, back into your flat back, switch your hands on the block. So this time now it's the right hand that's on the waist. Inhale here, exhale, turning to the left. Let's do this two more times. Just noticing if there's any differences from side to side. You might find that the, the opening seems to happen more fully or more easily on one side as opposed to the other. And let's just stay here and breathe for a few breaths. No strain, no strain. And inhaling back to center, back into your half forward fold. Now you may wish to heel toe your feet a little bit closer back together. In fact, you can bring them right back to hip width distance apart if that feels good for you. And we're gonna bend in the knees, bend you know, quite a fair bit there really. Bending in the knees, resting, the um, abdomen against the thighs, sending the arms out wide to the side, pressing into the feet. We're going to inhale and use the strength of those legs to lift us up into a standing position. And you can lower the arms down. See how you feel now. And let's take a nice big exhaling breath. And you can do as many of those nice big exhalations as you'd like. How do you feel now? Do you feel like you've kind of wrung some of the tensions out of your body? I hope so. That was just a, a quick kind of a part class. Uh, now is the time where you would lay down on the mat and take a few minutes to rest. You could have your knees bent or you could be laying with your legs lengthened, and maybe even just count backwards from 20, nice full breaths. So 20, 19, 18, 7, 18. You can go even slower than that. You could go as slow as is comfortable for you. You don't just don't want to be forcing anything. 
So it's all about release. It's not about force. And then you can go back to the rest of your day and whatever that entails and come back to this practice uh, whenever, whenever you need some release. All right. Take care. I will see you soon. Bye.